Hello friends and welcome back or welcome to Venice Sports Shack and welcome back to another episode of Winger Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about PSA and I'm going to reveal a few more things. So as always stand up, stretch out, because away we go. All right guys I'm going to talk about PSA today. Some of the things that Jackie Curiel uh, had said to me um, she's no longer responding to my emails because I'm a prick, but, uh, so I'm just going to let you know some of the things we talked about. Um, but first, contest. That's right, Paul, stupid contest. Um, anyone that put a number in on this, comment down below and then I'll get a hold of you. You can have it. A few people guessed, but anyone that wants that, that did guess, just comment down below. You can have it. The gentleman that guessed 123, I'm still waiting on you to contact me. 123B, I think you said. But the first closest, uh, there was a gentleman that guessed 119. If I don't hear from that 123, the 119 will be the winner. And then the Jackie Robinson t-shirt was 37A. If you wanted the Jackie Robinson t-shirt and you guessed, be the first one to... Comment down below and I'll get a hold of you. All right, guys, but to today's topic, I want to go over a few things uh, with PSA. I was in email communication with Jackie Turiel for a little bit. Um, she told me about the things they were doing. Uh, PSA has been compiling a Kurtz Card Care customer list by uh, several ways, through Facebook, uh, through comments, through bulk submitter comments. Uh, PSA launched an investigation. Um, I let uh, Jackie Curiel know that I got a copy of that list, that I was able to get my hands on a copy of that list, and she has quit talking to me completely. I asked her what they were going to do about these people that are on this list that are submitting cards to her. Um, some of the people on that list were bulk submitters. I asked what they're going to do about the they call them contract submitters, um, people on that list. Uh, she told me originally, uh, before I knew they had that list, that they were uh, contacting all their contract submitters and asking them, just asking them, do you use card care? And if they said no, that was good enough for them. Well, I let her know that I had a list, and it has names on it, the same list that they had that was compiled for them. Uh, and what was going to be done about these people? All communication was stopped. At that point, she sent me an email and said that she can no longer discuss any further investigations that they're doing, that it's not their policy to discuss these things. Guys, PSA knows who is sending them clean cards. They know. They have a list. The reason they can't do anything is because... Most of their inventory comes from contract submitters. And they're the ones on the list. <laughs> I know, think about it. If they get rid of one, they have to get rid of all of them. And then their count drops. They lose all their submissions. So right now, PSA is in the dilemma of what to do. What are they going to do? How are they going to explain this to all of you guys? That they know their contract submitters are sending in altered cards, clean cards, and they're doing nothing about it. That's why the Wimby card, I asked her, is that why the Wimby card, you did nothing about it? Because if you punish one bulk submitter, contract submitter, you got to punish them all. They can't. They can't do anything because once the domino starts falling, they all fall. They're trying to come up with a way to detect it. Until then, they're trying to be quiet. Guys, trust me, your grades, and I have mentioned this, your grades, your values, your PSA slabs, just like I said, they're coming up with a new way to do their slab. What that's going to do, all the slabs prior to that are going to be worthless. They're like the prior labels on the PSA slabs. That's how they're going to get out of it. By screwing you. 
by changing something to make your old slabs not valuable or less valuable that's going to save them on their guarantee i hope that makes sense and this whole process you guys are getting screwed i keep telling you if you're buying something for your pc and spending a bunch of money on it buy a raw card if you're spending a bunch of money on a psa slab don't that slab is going to be worthless every slab even if it's a psa 10 it'll be worth less because they're trying to come up with something else to make it more secure and then that way they can say well these are now more secure than those and the new labels are better than the old labels and this and that and i don't know how to explain it any better guys you're getting screwed psa is a scam one thing in the appraisal business we cannot do, no matter what percent of interest we have in a property, we cannot appraise that property. Conflict of interest. For example, if I were to go get a banking account at a local bank, I cannot receive work from that bank because I have an interest. Even though that interest is so small and I'm just a customer, I still have a beneficial avenue with that bank. So I know a lot of you guys say, well, who do you use? I bank online with Bank of America because they don't initiate any loans. They just service them. So the initial appraisal is where I care about. But my point is, PSA should not upcharge on the cards they grade. Grading and value should have no significant, no ties. They're, they're two totally different things. So why is PSA upcharging your cards after they grade them? That would leave to a bias. That right there is the first thing that shows you that there's bias in their grading. As simple as that. They have interest in their cards and they grade and then they upcharge. How, how much bigger of a scam is that? That'd be like me going out and appraising your house and saying, well, the more and more it appraises, the more and more I charge you. Where is the benefit? Or where is it? Why wouldn't I just appraise it as high as I could and keep charging you more and more and more? You know, and then they have those evaluators that have no license, they have no background. Just using whatever tools they want to tell you what your card's worth and then to upcharge you. And then you go to try to sell that card, you won't get that price. And then you'll get a 20% buyer's fee and a 15% seller's fee taken off of you. And you might get 30% of what they said it was worth. Guys, if you're out there grading and if you're out there doing things, like me, you guys say, well, you grade. Yeah, and I sell that thing as quick as I can. I have my cards less than two, three weeks. You ask anyone that buys cards for me. F. Jeff, he'll be at the Midwest Monster. The gentleman that was with me in Shipshawana, he'll tell you. I get rid of those things. Ask JT, get rid of those things, because they're worthless. There's only collector's value, guys. PSA. It's there just to get a piece of the pie. Tops, piece of the pie. Fanatics, piece of the pie. Panini, piece of the... Someone mentioned about uh, selling cards as a get-rich-quick scheme. No, that's the lie that all these companies have sold you. The only ones getting rich are these companies. I don't see anyone out there getting rich. No one. i use the example Jeff Wilson. I see him running a shop, but I don't see him getting rich. Your definition of rich and my definition of rich are definitely different, but trust me, there's no one out there getting rich. So, that's my spiel for today. Hope it makes sense. PSA is a scam. They're all scams from grading to, you know, SGC, PSA, all of them. From grading to upcharges to you know lack of training to turnover there's guys there's no validity in what they're doing so i hope you take that into consideration be wary of psa
uh, like I said, uh, they cut off communications with me, but they think that I, that my voice ain't gonna matter. Um, I've got some uh, friends that I went to high school with that are getting me some access to a few people that uh, are important. And a PSA and Fanatics and Tops and all of them don't want to take me serious. Well, the people that I am getting in contact, they will take me serious. And they will want to hear what I have to say. So, guys, as always, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Peace. Have a super great day. I need you right now. And why'd you really come here? I need you right now. Just went lost tonight. You could be my black Kate Moss tonight. Play secretary on the boss tonight. And you don't give a fuck what they all say, right? Austin, the Christian and Christian Dior. Damn, they don't make them like this anymore. I ask, cause I'm not sure. Do anybody make real shit anymore? Bad when the presence of greatness. Cause right now, that has forsaken us. You should be honored by my lateness. That I would even show up to this fake shit. So go ahead, go nuts, go ape shit. Especially in my pastel on my fake shit. Act like you can't tell who made this new gospel.